So let's see. One plus one. It works, guys. Everybody, it works. Welcome to the 1010 Club. This is the watch channel on YouTube for people whose love of watches is this high, but whose budget is only about this high. Affordable watches is the main focus. And if you just want to skip ahead to see this watch, this is where you can skip to. But today is a unicorn watch. I'm talking about a calculator watch that's stylish for real. This watch is gorgeous. So we'll go over some specs, but mostly we're going to focus on how well designed, how thoughtfully put together this watch is. The amount of detail that's included on a $20 Casio is really mind blowing for me. Also some cool little details like how to set this watch. I've never set a watch in this way. I think it's super convenient. And we'll also be covering the most glaring negative of any Casio watch I've ever held in my hands. I really cannot believe this oversight, but such is life. Let's flip this camera. Well, actually, let's move it over here so we can check out the Casio data bank in Olive. So here is the watch in question. Comes in standard Casio watch packaging, and this really is a cool looking watch. It has a negative display. It's only black and green. It has this kind of off-white numbers that match the display between the display and the calculator numbers. It's just a slick looking watch. It also looks big, but isn't. It's only 34 millimeters in diameter, and it also looks long. It kind of looks like Bert's head from Bert and Ernie, but this is only 43 millimeters lug to lug, which really makes it good for almost any wrist. The lugs too, this is one of those flares out. So this is a 20 millimeter lug width, although it flares out. So it starts at 24 millimeters and has a pretty nice taper down to about 18 millimeters. So that kind of optical illusion, I think works well on this watch. Also, speaking of small, this is only eight millimeters thick. So this really is a small, light watch. This is so light. I forget after dealing with 90 pound Phoebus watches, just how light a digital watch is. I can close my eyes and it just feels like a fairy is perching on my fingertips. Take a look at the back, a screw down case back. And by screw down, I mean there's four screws that screw it down. <laughs> this is no 200 meter or even 100 meter water resistant watch. I'm going to blame all these little buttons. So don't take a diving. However, how many people will be doing some minor multiplication or division at the bottom of the ocean? And check this out. Drilled lug holes or molded lug holes, but you can easily switch out the strap. And actually, I have seen some examples on the Amazon reviews of people switching these straps. So there's the spring bars you can see in there, but there are the lug holes. Damn, super easy. I think this is a very well-designed watch. I got this for just over $19, $19.95, let's call it, on Amazon, brand new. And for that price, I think you get a lot of watch. I mean, yeah, a module is a dime a dozen, probably literally, but I'm talking about more than that. There is a lot of thought put into this design. And you don't usually hear that when talking about a calculator watch. I mean, on its face, a calculator watch is not cool. It's for the dorks. Now, I'm saying this fully, fully invested in this watch. I love this watch and I've always wanted a calculator watch. So I'm not trying to say it as an insult, but just we know if you have a calculator watch, at least in the movies, you also had a pocket protector. You had the tape keeping your glasses together on the nose bridge. Hey, you probably talk like this because your retainer made it hard to talk and breathe. But look at this thing. This is sleek, well-designed. Anybody could pull off this watch from the stereotypical TV nerd to Brad Pitt. I think anybody could wear this thing. This strap, also look at all the attention to detail. Number one, a beautiful taper going down on this strap. Also, color matching and a signed black buckle on the other end. I think that's an awesome accent. These vents, I think are a cool touch. These little indentations along the side of the watch case are also mirrored in the strap all the way down. So a lot of design consistency, which is something you don't find very often in a $20 watch, usually press, done, out the door, give me my money. Yeah, the keeper maybe could have been black as well. Although that might have actually been too much of a pop. This is kind of a stealth watch. So I, at the end of the day, I think I agree with the decision to keep this green. And also speaking about design consistency, the little vent slot in the keeper, mirrored here at the top of the strap. Just an overall very well-designed watch. 
I think it's really hard to have a clean looking calculator watch. We can take a look at a few now and they're always a little bit awkward and definitely more than a little bit vintage or retro looking. I feel like if you get these calculator watches that look squashed together like a module on top of a calculator and then you just put some Gorilla Glue in the middle, not only does it look clunky, but it also looks like you're trying to reach towards the past, but the watch isn't elegant. The thing I like about retro watches is how elegant most of them look. So let's go through the modes real quick. So obviously here is the time with the day on the top right. Press the big button that sticks out. And here is the calculator just ready and waiting for you. Keep on going. There is one alarm. Dual time. So here's a second time zone for you to set. And finally, a stopwatch feature. That's all of it. But let's go back to the star of the show. The reason probably, hopefully, why you would get this watch. And that's the calculator. So let's see. One plus one. It works, guys. Everybody, it works. Although if you're doing one plus one on this calculator watch, maybe a calculator watch is the least of your concerns. This would, though, come in handy. I think this would be a great travel watch for two reasons. Oh, number one, you can uh, clear it and then just press it once and you're back to the normal time. Not only can you easily do like tip conversions or currency conversions with this watch, which I think would be an excellent use of this watch, but also that dual time zone, you can always have home time on your home screen and then the local time wherever you're traveling on this screen. I think it makes perfect sense. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist here. Let's give a little more perspective. And again, this kind of looks like a bigger watch, but Again, this is only a 34 millimeter diameter watch, but I think this would fit almost any wrist. So again, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see there's only one, two, three, four more holes. So if you're anywhere over eight inches, proceed with caution. Hmm. I'm gonna hopefully pull in a shot now. Let's see if she'll let me bother her while she's working from home. But my wife, I think this watch is gonna look great on her wrist, just as it does on mine. I'm going to take it off to show you another kind of cool thing, at least I thought it was pretty cool, is how you set this watch. So you press this recessed button and then you can toggle through. So let's say we want to set the time. The cool thing is with this watch, you don't have to press one button and cycle through all the times. If you want to change it, let's say it's eight o'clock, you type in the numbers. So O eight. Think about how many times with the digital watch Say it was 8.59, you have to press beep, 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 56, 57, 58, 50. I just think this is a small note of convenience. Now, the most glaring issue with this watch is that there's no loom, no light, no illuminator, no nothing. That added to the fact that this is a negative display. And as you can see me moving this watch around, it's whoop, almost impossible to see what time it is at certain angles. That feels like a huge missed opportunity for Casio. I mean, this is the first Casio watch that I've ever encountered that didn't have a light up button. Digital watches come with an illuminator. That's how I thought the world worked. I'm very, very confused with the fact that this does not have an illuminator. How hard would it have been to add it? But other than that, I think this is a 100% winner. It looks modern, which I'm gonna belabor this point, is almost impossible to do with a calculator watch. I think this looks great. It also comes in a few other colorways. You can get it in navy. You can also get it in a beige, but I think that this olive is the number one winner. I've been kind of on an olive watch band kick. I have it right now on my Red Star Chronograph. There's the video for that. Wait, let me point. There it is. Also, I have it on my Orient Bambino. I think it looks fantastic. But I think it looks fantastic because it's the olive and black combo, which this came with naturally. 1995, and this watch isn't going anywhere. What a phenomenal watch. I really love this thing, if you haven't been able to tell from the last six or seven minutes. But I do have to reiterate the issue with the loom. I thought it would just be a decent problem that I'd work through, but through wearing this watch, it really is a huge problem. The negative display plus the lack of light even in shadows, you cannot see what time it is. Last night we were watching TV. It was like 6.30, 7 in the evening. I couldn't see what time it was no matter how I tried in my living room. Angling it around, I had to bring it right up to a light. And that 
is a huge problem. I talked about how good this watch would be for traveling, and it really would be until the sun goes down, and then you're completely screwed if you're in a low light situation. If you can look past it, which to be honest, I still am suggesting you do, you can pick this watch up for under $20, and that's the main reason why I'm not using the lack of loom as the end-all be-all for get this watch. Oh, and I was talking about olive watches. A video will be coming out soon about 21 millimeter straps because check out this new strap. I hope it's focusing on the Orient Bambino. I think this color goes so well with the black dial. And if you can see, there's no gap on the lugs because it's a 21 millimeter strap. A lot more of those straps available now. So that will be in an upcoming video. Thanks again for stopping by. New videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So please do subscribe. It really does help the channel. And click like if you liked the video. I've heard that helps too. And I'll see you real soon.